Hola, mis amores. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Stop appropriating my culture. I am the Latinx queen. I'll just struggle down Ay, here. cuando quieras. Sí. Hola a todos, soy Jan, The Makeup Mariachi. Bienvenidos a otro repaso de La Más Draga, temporada 3. Hoy va a ser un poquito diferente, because we're going to be in English, because we have an English-speaking queen today. Hello, hello, hello. This is Miss Violet Bloom. Bienvenida a La Violeta. So today we're going over La Más Draga, season 3. And uh, we're just going to give our thoughts on the drag queens and see how they do. See if they measure up. Ooh, uh oh. <laughs> so to make things go faster and smoother and simpler, we're just gonna give either an X or a, what was the other one? Oh, <laughs> let's just give like a yes. Snaps. Can you snap with your nails on? No. Wait, do that ASMR for the for the kids. Like that. <sighs> By Gosh. the way, we did get tested for COVID. Uh, we're both negative, period. period. So that is why we are bringing this to you. All right, so let's start. So first off, we have Luna Landsman. So what are your initial thoughts? I love the prop, but the outfit's a little bit simple. Yeah, it's very, you know, like being the first one, I was like, oh, okay, cute. You know, like the heart, like blood sacrifice, like Aztec warrior, you know, fantasy. But it's a bodysuit with uh, pieces of fabric on it. They set it up so it gets better from here on out. You know, they were like, let's put her first. So everyone's like, yes. But then at the end, everyone's like, no. This in the middle would have been worse. Oh yeah, by far. No, in the middle, like you wouldn't even know she exists. How's the makeup? Um, it's there. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it didn't like blow me away, which is unfortunate. Like I feel like this is the second episode where I'm just kind of like, eh. What'd she do the first episode? I think she was the one that was like the fish and the shrimp and then the, oh. the mermaid. I kind of feel that vibe from it though. Cause like the heart isn't executed like how the fish wasn't executed. <laughs> It, it gives me Sailor Scout, like It uh, does! Like Mini anybody, Moon? <laughs> chibi Moon. Like El Chibi Moon. Okay, so, score. Is it an X or is it a Yas? It's an X. X. O sea, X. X. Next, we have Avies Ku. Um, she is a queen that actually impressed me in the first episode, and I'm really excited to see what she came up with. What was she in the first episode? The spider? She was a spider. She was Coraline's mom. Oh, I wasn't here for that though. Yeah, so let's check it out. Okay, like initial thoughts, it's the black face for me. I was watching her in the workroom and she was like in black face and I was like, ooh, what do you think of this final look? <laughs> She's scared to say anything. You know, I like the overall like concept of it. Like, I feel like it's like you're either pregnant or you're not pregnant. Like you're either problematic or you're not problematic. Wait, go back to it, let me see. I feel like the construction of the garment is overall really strong. I love the headpiece, and I like the concept of the hands like this um, on the body. I just think there's no contrast to show what it is. I think maybe if they were stone, ooh, and then she could still have the black bodysuit and she paints her face her. black, but put like white in there so it was like a or white like, and black grayscale, it, it would be been, better. Yeah, like just not all black. Like there's no, like, and you know, besides from the fact that it's fucking black face, like there's just no dimension. Oh y'all, like, we need to talk about this like in another video. The concept of like blackface and like all this in, in Mexico. Like, hey everyone, it's Future Ayan. I am editing this video right now. And I did want to make a note that La Mas Draga on the channel, they uploaded an hour long conversation on blackface. As a result of Aviesque and there have been other queens in past seasons that painted their skin black. And so it was this whole involved conversation with this organization in Mexico called Mexico Negro, in which they dove into what constitutes blackface and whether it happened on the show or not. Now, just know, I really am gonna make a video summarizing that whole conversation, uh, taking out some key points in English and Spanish, because I think it's very important. Also, I think it's really great actually that La Masraga use their platform to talk about something that is very, very important, such as blackface and racism, especially when it comes to art and drag. So to oversimplify the whole conversation, essentially the verdict was that it was not blackface uh, because it was not seeking to evoke any emotion or humor through the portrayal of a human of African descent. They were actually portraying gods, deities. That was the criteria that the organization 
use to come to this decision. Just know that this is on my mind and I will keep talking about this because I still feel a certain type of way after watching this. It is a conversation I think that always has to be had and especially involving black people. So if you have any thoughts in the comments, please, please put them down below. I will definitely make sure to include it in my videos so that we can include everyone in the conversation and not just like, you know, non-black people talking about this. Of course, if you're willing. So I just wanted to let you know that. And now we will continue with the video. If this was a gray, do you think the headdress would look out of place? Like it should all be gray then? It, it could be a statue? Yeah, yeah. If it was all gray scale, that would have been cool. I think that would have fit with like Abias' kind of like conceptual art kind of persona too. It's kind of giving me like the temples from Steven Universe but Mexican. <laughs> With the hands, how she's oh, like this. Oh, like what's her name? Uh, what? It's Obsidian. Oh yeah. Cause yeah, she has yeah, the gems yeah, yeah. like this and there's the one gem on the hand. Yeah. like. But I think it's a heart. Cause like I'm, I mean, sacrifice. I'm pretty sure it's like, you know, they're all doing like the blood sacrifice or whatever thing with the heart. Let's see. So what what do we give her? Do we give her an Equis or a Yas? I'm gonna give her an Equis for the blackface. Equis. <laughs> Good answer. Next is Yayoi Bawiri. She did the blood thing, but I don't know really what she's giving me like as a whole. It's giving me like paper fantasy. Like I'm a poker card dealer. Cause her dress is like this. <laughs> it's like the cards panned out. Alexa play poker face. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see like the inspirations for this because I feel like it's just mm. something I'm not fully well, comprehending. But even the judges didn't really get it. They were like, what is this? They said the the inspiration, but they were like, you weren't giving me this, by the way. Well, I wonder if it's like a Laura situation with the bunny. Like, we're just not understanding what she's referencing. Dragula, the zombie bunny? I'm not there yet, don't spoil it for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you give it an Equis or a Yav? Like, it, for the challenge, it's an Equis. <sighs> Damn, I'm a harsh judge, huh? It's an Equis for me, but I love Yayoi. I love her so much. I think also another thing I didn't like is that her nose is painted white that makes it look like a pig. Thing. She could have just not painted it white because she paints the top and the bottom. She only would have painted uh, the tip and left this part. It wouldn't give that pig illusion because oh, that's what yeah, confused yeah. me too. Because oh, yeah. it gives that circular look right here. Because it, it like it makes the nostrils like more prominent. Like, well, not that. It just creates like a circle right here. And yeah, it does make the oh, nostrils more prominent. Oh, I see, I see. Because it's like all right oh, here. Uh -huh. huh. I need a contoured nose. So you said Eki? Damn, we need a good one. The next one I think is good. All right, up next we have uh, no. Winter. <laughs> up next we have Winter. And she's giving me very like- Is there a W on her headdress for Winter? Oh my God, it fucking is. I mean, it's very like Aztec tribal. I don't even know if it's Aztec. Giving me tribal house down boot. She's giving me, um, what, what's that one share song? Half breed. Half, oh my God. Don't, oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think maybe the peacock, is, is a peacock native to like Mexico? I, or like I, I that area at all? I, because a lot of the girls use peacock feathers and I wonder if it's just a cheaper feather. Yeah, probably. But honestly, I couldn't tell you. You like, can pluck them really quickly if you just get behind them real quick. You're just like, <laughs> No litter? <laughs> no. <laughs> I love the firework at the beginning though. That was a nice Oh detail. yeah, yeah, I yeah, feel like yeah, yeah. Performance wise, she came out and gave full fantasy. She was very tribal warrior. Like I'm here for it. Like this is my fantasy. I think maybe I wasn't here for the blonde hair. Oh yeah, as, like, yeah, yeah, yeah an illusion of hair, but if it was an illusion of like sheepskin, then I would be here for it because it's the appropriate color. But I mean, that's just nitpicking. But that's what we gotta do. Es la más draga tres. Period. So, I mean, for me, it's like middle of the ground. So I would say. No, it's a yes for me. Is it a, okay, it's an Equis for me. It's a yes. Damn, I'm just not easily impressed anymore. I think that it's good enough compared to what we've seen so far. Okay. I don't like the chunky boot though, that's for. Girls that can't walk in heels. I mean, T, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> what was the quote? If you're gonna wear heels, then press. She said, um, if you're gonna wear heels, dominate. Otherwise, don't wear them. <laughs> uh. Next, we have Memo Reiri. Ching. <laughs> <laughs> Me? So Memo, he's really giving us like like blood, the blood sacrifice, but I feel like more authentic. Like the chief. If that, yeah. With his giant headdress. Ugh. I think maybe just this like skirt wrap is too high up and the feather headdress is too down low. I feel like when we see like images of like these kind of like men, uh -huh. these tribal men, you get the pectorals and you get a little bit of abs. Yeah. Like I feel like that's what was missing because it, it read a little too feminine to have the waistline that high up. You're right. Like if you're going to have it like up to your nipples, and you need to have some chest out. I did not I did not even notice that. That's the only thing that bugs me, but like I love the smoke, the performance of it all. The heart looked decent. 
which not everybody's heart looks. Yeah, like that's it. true. And you, oh, and he actually said he was gonna have something happen to the heart, like it was gonna like explode with blood or something, but it didn't happen. Like that's. Why I don't he know just why nobody brought a real heart. Like it's not that hard to get one. I don't know what to say to that. Or just like make one, you know, out of like fucking like silicone or something. Me just like this. <laughs> no, I like this look a lot. That smoke that he coughed up at the beginning, that was pretty cool. I also love the bowl cut. Oh, the bowl cut. <laughs> he, Memo loves a good bowl cut. He loves that like silhouette of like <laughs> we love minimal things. hair. Yeah. I love the skull makeup. I think it's cool. Not you checking your makeup in the middle of this video. Not the wig cap showing. Okay, actually. <laughs> I'll actually take all the time you need. <laughs> Next up. Ooh. Oh no, we didn't finish. I would give this a yes. Yes. Period. First of the night. Thank you. You're welcome. Next we have Regina Bronx. Okay, but the makeup on this, I'm loving the eye detail. Like, it's like these little yeah. cut out pieces, the no contacts. It's giving me very, like, ethereal goddess. I feel like the hair looks a little cheap, but that, it kind of goes with the whole aesthetic of, like, it's a cartoon interpretation of, like, it's very fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it was like a, like an ombre, like a deep to like light, or like the wig. lights it, yeah, the, the wig. I just think the fibers look cheap. It looks yeah, like a ten dollar I mean, wig. Like, it does look like a. But if like, it was the more expensive. Even if it had like a little, wig. even if it had like a little ombre, I think that would look cute. Like I don't more think dimension. An ombre would be really, different. I don't because then it would take the contrast on her face. I like the hair color. I just think that a more expensive mm. hair fiber. That's just nitpicky. <laughs> to look I'm wearing like a cheap fuller. wig. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell that it's getting tangled at the bottom because it's a cheap wig. Oh, I see, I see. I see. Like, I can see that already. Okay. Or a more expensive wig wouldn't get tangled as quickly, but it's harder to find that length. I feel that, I feel that. I think the shoulder pieces look a little bit not as nice as everything Costume else. Costumey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little party city. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I don't know. I'm kind of vibing with it. It's a yes for me. I, I would say a soft yes. But a yes, nevertheless. Yes. So you wouldn't tip her? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm i poor, so I wouldn't tip anyone. <laughs> That's not an excuse of the dollar, no. <laughs> Honey, times are tough. We're in a pandemic. <laughs> File for unemployment if you're <laughs> That's a great idea. Maybe I'll do that. Let's certify. Let's certify together. Oh. Okay, so next up. <laughs> up next is Madison. And she's giving us cheetah. Oh, she almost jungle. <laughs> No, it's part of the fantasy. Is she's she gonna pouncing. jump from there? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I'm a savage. Ha! <laughs> I think she's serving it. She looks feminine. Yeah, pause on her face. I think the construction of the headpiece and the bodysuit doesn't look as expensive as I wish it would because mm. the back piece, mm -hmm. the like feather headdress or whatever behind her, yeah. looks so much more expensive it's than like the front lush. piece. It just looks like expensive materials, whereas like it looks like a like a stretch fabric maybe. It looks like latex or like not latex, but like um, not it's not it's like it looks like a cheap fabric, like a cheap stretch cotton maybe. No, it's shiny. Is, is it? Do you think it's just stone? Because it's like shiny and it looks like snakeskin almost. Maybe like a faux pleather. But I yeah. like it. <laughs> I like it. It's a it's a yas for me. I wish she would have worn a tight that covered her foot because there's a little gap. Literally skin. same. Like I but see this that kind of well that throws me out a little bit because it's very like fantasy like animal and then at the bottom it's like glam like animal inspired at the bottom. And from here I you can't know? see nails. Do we see nails? Oh, do we see good nails? <laughs> <laughs> They keep like as soon as like it gets a close up and it's like getting seeing her hand it like zooms out. Can you do and, that and for me like, right now? Zoom out. Cut to your face. Close up. Me. Uh, the hand that's good. Zoom out. Close up to me. <laughs> it's called movie magic, bitch. Uh, production. Gets Make cut out. <laughs> it's just me this whole time. <laughs> Wait, you didn't say if there was a yas or not. It's a yas for me. Yeah. Like I'm living for this fantasy. Up next is Stupid Drag as the Sholo Dog. My crush. Honestly, my crush. Like, Pepe is so fucking cute. Pepe, I want the pee pee. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, the body on this looks better than the body on the first week of yeah, the Yeah, because you said last week it was the, the... I felt like the pads were too low on it. Right. That it was giving like a like illusion of a longer torso, mm. and I feel like that's not like... For an ideal feminine illusion, it's not... Right. Which is what which she seems to be going for. Yeah, she seems to going time, for that right? high femme. I just feel like it's not... Right. Body-wise, not doing it for me. Because she has a really nice body. She does. Honestly, like... Oh. But yeah, she's. I think she really, her proportions are a lot better this time as well. I love this like fabric because it's like not getting in her way. What's the pattern? It's giving her, it's like clouds. See, my issue with this is I feel like it references like other cultures, kind of giving me like Grecian pottery. 
on oh. the on the like a Grecian pottery vase yeah. on the thing because it's like that black and gold pattern, and then the outfit kind of gives me a little bit more Egyptian. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boots. That mo yeah, the boots are everything. here to dominate. I like the earring the ear pieces. They're like oh, they're like completely covering her ears. That's really cool, actually. That's really smart. The mug is so good. She's beautiful. and that white under eye illusion is honestly so. <laughs> yeah, superior. it it really works here. I love the skull on her crotch. The way she whips that fabric is just like so, like she knows that she looks she, good this week. Yeah. We're just here like <laughs> watching In her. Awe. Oh, oh my God. I love this moment where she's on the floor. Crawling. She's like, oh. And then she looks herself like a cat. <laughs> According to Johnny. <laughs> oh. Go on. So what do we give it? I give it a yas. It's the dude that gives everything to me. What's the equivalent of above a yas? That's a yeah. It's like a yeah. It's it's a tip. <laughs> I give her a tip. Oh, shit. Get the PayPal. I'm like I should probably tip her now, right? <laughs> okay. Next up. We're poor. Next up is Miss Tabu. She's the the spooky queen of the season. This is the kind of color palette where it's so similar to um, Stubby Drugs, mm. but it doesn't read Egyptian, which is what I really like about it. Because there's like blue in it too. I think it's the blue and then also, it's, it's the peaks of yellow too, it's more color. I feel it, like. Well, hers had more gold and this one has more like bone colors. And she's giving me more of that like ghoul, like bone, like curandera, what did you say? The, the shaman. Shaman, yes, exactly. It's shaman. I love the details of the, there's like a necklace and it's a spine that I'm just realizing. Oh, and wait, no, actually. specifically that goat on the head is so perfect because it kind of, yeah, no, or like that reads. It's pretty reminiscent actually of her like entrance look because she had like, kind of like this like jaw coming around her face. But yeah, she's giving, I like, like the, the bone on the brow. And the performance what of it that? all. Yeah. Where yeah, she yeah. has the fire with the paraffin wax. Like, you were like, like literally talking about like shamans like dropping bones and reading them and then she did this and you were like, oh my god, did she just do that? <laughs> and just like the sultry look, like yeah. Alexa play Dark Lady by Cher. <laughs> <laughs> I do agree with Letal with like her face being a, like really bright in contrast to everything else being kind of like dark. I mean, if she just really like blended in like a little bit more of the contour towards the light parts of her face. I don't face, think that should have been blended more. I think she should, should have just used a lighter or darker base. Because if it would have been more blended, it would have taken away from the grunge yeah, of the makeup. Yeah, yeah. I think if she would have just used a darker color in general, it would have made it yeah, better. Yeah, like the, the highlight was just too bright. But at the same time, it's like really, it's really missable. Like it's her spooky, like raised cheekbones to the gods. Like uh, Yeah, but her forehead too? No, not her forehead. Yeah, no, the cheekbones only. That could have gone darker. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I give it a yes. I give it a yes, give it a yes Henty. I give it a performance. I give her half a tip. <laughs> <laughs> you opened PayPal, but didn't send it. Right, yeah. You thought I, about it. I tagged her on Instagram. <laughs> on my story. <laughs> Up next, we have Raga Diamante. Oh. <gasps> you are living for her color palette, right? I was. I feel like this one reads the most like... Like Mexican, the, I think, too. Yeah, what they actually wanted. Yeah. I feel like this one has no ambiguity with what it is. Her color palette gives me, um, what's her name? Carmen Miranda. Her, like, fruit bowl. Just like... It's not South American. It's like Latin, it's still in Latin America. Well, I feel like South American is more like blues, whereas this is like a true like oh, yellow, green. orange, red, white, whatever, like all that spectrum of colors. Mm. Like no blues, it's like, oh, there's a blue on it. Oh, it's like <laughs> a purple. That. It's a purple. That's not a purple, that's a it's blue. A, it's a... That's not a violet, don't say that. That's not a violet. It's not a blue. That's a blue. It's the lighting that changes it. Blue photographs so weird. In the comments below, is it a blue or is it a violet? Sound it's off. Purple. No. <laughs> it's indigo. It's blue violet. I love the like nose ring matching with the earrings, and they're all the same size. I don't know. This like trifecta gives me everything. Also, the baby. This, this, yeah, the pregnant fantasy. I was gonna say. El bebe. El bebe. They were all living for her pregnant fantasy, honestly. I think this one, maybe the performance of it, made the outfit so much more better. Because I feel like I, I uh -huh. like maybe like Stupid uh -huh. Drug outfit better, yeah. but the, just the performance in this was so good. And the braid. The Oh my god, the Rapunzel braid. Is that, it's like it's paper. Like Is it cloth? It looks it like paper like mache, low key. It's like long pieces of cloth. I've seen wigs like that. It looks cool. I like it. I, I want one. Honestly. And it doesn't look cheap. Yeah, like which is so hard with it non looks, hair. It looks like artful. The and proportions. the way she arches her back. Yes, yes. Was, and like I don't know what it is. Like even like the the pregnant tummy gives her like the shape in that silhouette when she arches her back. It was just giving me life. I think it adds to like, femininity a little bit too. Because mm -hmm. it's like lower. It's not like a. It's not like a beer belly. <laughs> it's like very much like a. Panza. 
pancita. So I give this a full yes. Yeah. Like, bitch, expect a tip from me. No, like, for real, this deserves a tip. <laughs> These are three really good licks back to back. Yeah, 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 for sure. They peaked. <laughs> and up next is Hunty B, otherwise known as Hunty B. Yeah. And she's giving us blue Shiva for your nerve. Yeah, very much Shiva, like Indian goddess, which was not the challenge. She's kind of giving me, um, fuck, sugar cane. <laughs> sugar cane is the troll in this bodysuit. Like, I need a belly button. I think that's what was throwing it off for me. I love the fangs. But also, I'm like, what is, uh, I don't know. Apparently, she was giving, like, a water god. I don't know. I kind of like the two colors. It's, like, complimentary yeah, colors. Yeah, it's cool. But that also kind of throws it off. Because like, it's like, it. it's like, yeah, it's like, what, what, it just looks like a... Maybe I don't like the, like the bikini bottom too. Maybe like a loincloth. But the makeup oh, is never mind. out of this world. Makeup's cool. I do agree with Johnny because he was like, I would have loved to see... Johnny? I would have loved to see like a, like water, or like teardrops or something. Like a... Like the, oh, La Llorona. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I give her, what do you give her? I give her a... I give her a yes. I give her a go off period, like a soft period. <laughs> anyway. The period's not bold. I give her a comma, <laughs> a semicolon, semicolon, if anything. You gotta think about it. Okay, up next is Ibiza Liosa, and she's serving, um, she said it was like some... Dreads. Oh, fuck. That, those are dreads, huh? No wonder something was like a little off for me. I was like, it was, I mean, it was kind of like middle, middle high-ish ground performance. I feel like this one reads ambiguous prehistoric. It's because it, the, the metal makes it look a little bit more futuristic, I think. And maybe that was the angle she was going for. Oh, and she has like... And the heel? The heel. It's just like a regular shoe. It's like a pump. Oh, yeah, yeah. A chunky pump. But she also like... like the, the body's the thing good. on her knee. Yeah, the body's great. But like the thing on her knees, they're like... Like garter belt, maybe? Garter, yeah. Little garters with like the little metal loops. And the dreads, I'm like... I kind of do see like a futuristic take on like pre... Yeah. Pre-Hispanico. pre Pre-Hispanic. Pre pre but I, I like it. I would say x <sighs> Like It's just a little confusing. I, it's a yes. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like overall, it's still a really good look. Precise body, chains, everything is really, really clean. Hmm. I just feel like maybe for the challenge, it didn't read as strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up next is, ching, Rudy Reyes. Oh my God, also this smoke, like period. She said performance. Yeah. I'm honestly living. See, the, um, who did blue the first time? On TV. See, I was recommending like more colors to make it look not so like right. Indian. And I think this is a clear example. Like it's more, you can see more influences, more pieces the fabric it's not just a simple bikini yeah. you have this decorated beast mm -hmm. behind her like the full feather headdress which i think really just kind of screams like I think, manic. I think the headdress was what helped me like just be, i mean it's it looks like aztec it looks like very like pre-hispanic and i thought it was funny because like this one was the one that the judges were like this reads indian to me and yeah like, i think maybe the other one just wasn't good enough to read indian <laughs> She was like, you weren't Indian enough for me. And that wasn't the challenge, but like... That's a Shiva don't. But I feel like it had... <laughs> it was a Heva. It was a Veva. Neva? Oh my god, shout out. Hey, girl. Take me to heaven. Take me to heaven. I don't want to be... Oh my god. I can't that's think. a good song. <laughs> It we sounds better than I do. We stand Neva in this household. Stream phases down below. Link is in the description. So Rudy Reyes. I mean, I love it. I think I do agree with Yadi in that I wish I saw more of her flesh tone because she is a melanated queen. La Perla del Caribe. I feel like this was the time to show it off, you know, and, sh and she didn't, unfortunately. She was like all blue, but um... Do you think her skin tone with like paints? parts of blue would be more like blue. That would be cool. Like it was a body paint. I would love that. Would but like cool. at the same time, I mean, I, at the same time, I wasn't thinking of that until Yadi brought it up. I like loved this entirely. I think she would she could have done without the beast. But that's... I think if she wasn't blue, the beast would show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause it's like, I barely noticed it this time and we've seen it like a couple times <laughs> at this point. <laughs> it's like, it's a little extraneous. Cause then you notice it, you're like, oh, that's that's what that growth is. Yeah. <laughs> but she's serving. I thought she just didn't tuck. <laughs> She's like, let's distract these <laughs> bitches real quick. But I'm living, honestly. Like, there's I a would... texture to the blue, which is really nice. It's what? not just a straight blue bodysuit. There's a oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... It has like with the muscles. Is or muscles? Apps. Or is it just a texture? Oh, it is kind of. It's yeah. like body texture. I like it. I, I give it a yes. I give this one a yes. I'm like, I like, I'll buy her a drink. drink Out of drag or in drag? <laughs> both, honestly. The fuck, I'm into both. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well. We are. Adios. <laughs>
Who who was your top? It's Stupid Drag. Stupid Drag. Rudy. Memo. Memo and Miss Tabu. Miss Tabu was good. Those are my top four. But if you had to have top three and then winner. I thought we we're judges, so we do a mas and a mena. Oh, oh, go for <laughs> it, girl. No, let's do it. Let's okay, do it. Okay, do your top three then. I'm first. gonna do the hey top three for me. Stupid Drag, Rudy, and oh, and Raga, of course. Raga was really great. Oh, that makes it harder. I love, yeah, I know, right? Find then Stupid Drag, <laughs> Raga. Raga Diamante, uh huh? And, uh, oh. So, uh. <laughs> I like Mr. Boo. Uh, Mr. Boo. Stupid Drag and Raga for me. Yeah, that's my top three. Yeah, too. yeah. Only because Memo had the little, uh, the proportion issues. Yeah. That took me out. Oh, of but it. like, Ruby was so good, though. But, like, the monster, yeah. If, if we're talking, yeah, not good enough, though. I think I would also Your go with Raga. My mas, la mas, for me, would Arr. also be Raga. Mine would be. She gave me the whole thing. Stupid Drag. Yeah. You like the Sholo Dog? I loved, I love Stupid Drag Sholo. Like, that was. But Raga was one of the ones that were like, was like talking to her, and uh, I mean, Raga won, so I'm like. Have you talked to her? Um, I can't discuss anything that hasn't been aired yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> There's a mariachi challenge. <laughs> <laughs> They're going for micro influencers. <laughs> like micro, micro, like nano influencers. <laughs> Microscopic. <laughs> nano influencers. Atomic influencers. Uh, oh Minimal. Uh, um, so fucking small. No. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bitch. Damn, they should have hit you up, though. But they're like, they don't even have to speak Spanish. <laughs> They're like, just yes we and just, no. We just need a body in the room that we don't have to pay for. Season four, here we come. <laughs> Who do you think should have went home, though? Who was the pink girl? Oh yeah, that was Luna. Luna. I think so too. It was pretty basic, even though it did give me like, you know, Aztec, which Yayoi didn't. Your mouth and your menos. I, my okay. menos would also be Luna. My menos would be Luna too. So yeah, those are our thoughts. Uh, what do you think? Who should have gone home? Who should have won? <laughs> oh, do it again. <laughs> I mean, can I? <laughs> And yeah, I mean, that is, that's our review. Thanks so much for watching this week, Violet. I want to thank you so much for being here with me. No problem. My Instagram is at msvioletbloom. My cash app is at msvioletbloom. And so is my Venmo. Find me everywhere at msvioletbloom. Tip this Ooh. bitch. And follow at everything by Bloom if you'd like some stickers. Yes, this is new. We have more services and merch by Bloom that are coming. And artwork by Bloom is featured in both of our stickers. Yes. And they'll be right here. She said, I'm a performer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and spending time with us today. Catch us next week. Well, catch me with us. Uh, not her. Next week. Another surprise guest. <laughs> Another surprise. It's just you again. <laughs> In a different wig. <laughs> and a new COVID test. <laughs> I mean, yeah, duh. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and press the notification bell for notifications for uploads in the future. And we'll catch you next time. Adios. <laughs>